Hello and welcome. Happy Advent. I'm Libby Templeton with Faithful Hands Creations, and I am just thrilled that you have chosen to take some time out of all the hustle and bustle that's going to clearly be going on over the next few weeks, but to just take a few minutes out of your day to create some really fun little simple collages, not worrying about composition, not having to worry about where's all the paper going to come from or anything like that. Just using what you have around and just truly taking the time for you. That's what's most important. So I'm looking forward to sharing this with you, everything I've got on my table and sorry for the mess behind me. I've just got so much going on in here, ornaments I'm making and all sorts of other things. But anyway, I welcome you along and I will flip you around to my desk and let's get started. So I have a candle here. This one is just a, uh, it's a purple candle because so much of the color of the season is purple through most of Advent. And so this is just here to ground me and to remind me of what's going on now. So I invite you to just close your eyes and take a deep breath while I share with you the scripture for today. The first day is about creation and the theme is the beginning of God's story. A reading from Genesis. In the beginning when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. So as we begin on this, the meditation I have to offer for you is to just take time to reflect on the majesty of God's creative power. In the beginning, he spoke and light shattered the darkness. Each day, a new masterpiece unfolded. I invite you to begin this Advent journey by marveling at the Creator and His plan. Okay, so let me explain just a little bit about what I have here. I have a whole bunch of little two-inch circles. As I said in my intro video, you can make squares or any other shape that you want. Uh, I did it an easy way. I just had a two inch hole punch. And so I did that. You don't have to have a two inch hole punch. You could totally do this with, um, with cutting it out. And, uh, one of these days I may try to put a template out there, put a comment down below and let me know if you would like to have a template for a two inch circle. I also have a few just little pieces of paper. I'm not creating any new paper for this project. I have so many jelly prints and all sorts of other things. So I'm just using a little bit of that. I also have some egg carton material here. I thought that might be fun to incorporate in. I'm always looking for different ways to use things. And along that line, this is part of a potato chip bag. And I thought this yellow might be great for the light coming in from the darkness. Probably as we go along, you'll see I use probably a lot of purple paper just because I think that that's um, relevant for the season, but we'll see. I also have, you know, I thought this was kind of cool, this difference in gradation. So this was just a mailer that came, but I thought I love this color and I thought it might be something fun to bring in. So I just encourage you to look around and see what you have. And then on one side, or maybe on the one side here, I have these great um, ornaments or images that were created by Christy 
of Faith and Fun prints on Etsy. And so what I did was I ordered them and I printed them out. But instead of printing them on paper, I printed them on tissue paper. So this is just tissue paper that I stuck on to with some temporary spray onto my paper so it would go through the printer. So then when I get ready to affix it on the collage, it will have a bit of transparency. So that's what we're going to do. And then also, I found in my Bible that from a previous Bible study, I had some of the beginning of Genesis in Hebrew. And so I pulled it out and made some more copies of it and thought that would be a really fun thing to just incorporate some of those components into the collage. And then I just have a couple of extra words. I'm mostly going to use just a glue stick. What I had today as just, you know, it's not an expensive Elmer's one. Lots of times I uh, use other ones, but that's what I'm going to use today. I've got some Neo Color 2 past or pastel uh, crayons if I feel like using them. So let's get started. Um, to start with, I'm just going to put a little timer on for about 10 minutes so we don't get too out of control on here. So as I consider, what am I going to put on here? You know, the scripture said that the earth was formless and it was great darkness and it was all there. And then God spoke and brought the lightness in. And so I think I'm going to start with dark and I think I'm actually, I am going to start with this dark green one. I know it's not really black, but I like how it's got some coming in. And don't worry, uh, you're going to see me put this on here and I'm going to go way bigger than the circle, but I can cut it off really easily. So I have no rhyme or reason to this. This is the image that um, is from Christy, and so it doesn't even have to be these colors, but I love that. So I'm just going to glue stick on here. This is another dark, and it's kind of starry, although that star stuff does not come in until later. I kind of want to go in a circle, maybe. something about this one that I thought these were circles and so forth but they are pretty formless and so I think I'm going to take this one you could use scissors I use them a lot I may do that at some point here as well I think I'm going to just add that
going to add a little bit of darkness in here. The beauty of these is that they are watercolor. You can just use them as this. the color around. I just want to add a little bit of darkness in here. And I tell you, I am not by any stretch of the imagination trying to come up with something that is perfect, but uh, I think I'm going to kind of Cut out a little bit of a sun, maybe. We'll see. As I said, this is just supposed to be fun. Where um, I think this is going to be hilarious looking, actually. <laughs> I should have probably cut a circle first and then come around and done that. But let's see what we got. There you go. Light. I actually was thinking about doing this. This being the light. Put that there. I know. It's kind of silly. But hey, you know what? Uh, what we're doing is just taking this time to see what God has to say to us. All right, it is pretty silly looking, but it's okay. It's all about fun. And you know, one of the things that you might start to learn about me is that I don't think we have to do anything perfectly. You know, art to me is, I like to think of it as an acronym, anything really today. And I think lots of times we just get too caught up in ourselves and we we forget how to play. And that's all we're doing here. There's nothing to take seriously. I'm not going to go try and sell these ornaments. I'm not trying to have a perfect composition. I'm just trying to be faithful. All right, so now what I'm trying to do is pull this tissue off of here. So bear with me while I... So there we go. You don't have to print yours on tissue. You could totally just have it on plain paper and then um, put that on here. You could just... Take this and stick it on there and have it be your ornament. And because this, I want this to become more transparent, I am going to use some matte medium on it instead. Because that will help it be... Well...
Well, I'm just batting a thousand here, aren't I? That's okay. I kind of like the way that that turned out. You can't really see. I've got these pieces of that bag off that are. You can't really see so much of the image, but you do get just a little bit of it. Can you see just his hands? And it still is on darkness, but there's so much of his hands in that light and so forth. So I think I'm going to like that. I think it'll be kind of fun. And I did, I printed, or I actually had found these other words, the kingdom of God is within you and community, but I think I'll probably save those for another day. But I am going to bring this in, I think. I'm just going to bring in this word. Genesis. Let's put that up there. And then I'll just punch a hole in the top of that. I think I'm going to write just a little bit of something on the back of this from that meditation. spoke he spoke and light shattered the darkness so I hope that that was just a fun little creative activity for you. And I will be back tomorrow and we will be moving on to Adam and Eve and how we were created in the image of God. And so I thank you and I hold you in my heart and my prayers. And I hope that as you do go along this Advent journey, that you are able to marvel at the Creator and His plan for us. Have a blessed Advent.